What's going on guys, Will Morse here, bringing you guys my first ever episode of Redskin Station. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while now. I'm so excited that I'm getting started on it. If you remember last year I did a five episode show called Redskins Talk. I wanted to carry on that show throughout the whole year, but due to certain team decisions around that time, it took my energy and want of doing it out of the system and I just didn't. I just couldn't bring myself to make videos on it. So I apologize for the promises I made of keeping that show up, but not sticking to it. Um, if you're new to this channel, I have been a Redskins fan for almost eight years. I've been to two games, one preseason where I was on the field and a regular season game this past year against the New England Patriots. Um, I have been an ambassador at the training camp this past summer for Dwayne's rookie season, so it was awesome getting to see him on his uh, first training camp, and awesome being able to be more interactive with the, and close to all the players from the Redskins. It was a great experience, and if you're in the area and you're looking for a summer job, doesn't pay, but has a bunch of great things that comes along with it, uh, I highly suggest that you do at least try it. Give it a couple of days. Uh, you'll make some friendships there that uh, you don't expect, but will last a little while. All right. So my first episode is about Ron Revere. How can I go my first episode without talking about Ron Rivera's hire? Now, I had, I had a feeling when the Panthers cut Ron Revere that the Redskins were going to get him. I hoped, I prayed, I wanted him. And I, just, I, had, I had a feeling inside that that's who we were going to get. Had no clue I was going to be right a month later. I uh, got out of my wisdom teeth surgery the day he was hired. And you know, most people were loopy. The first thing I said is hand me my phone because I wanted to read the, um, the uh, messages and the tweets about him being hired in order to like the, the specifications of his contract. So that was a super exciting day. Um, so I'm here to share my thoughts and what are the expectations for Ron Rivera being new head coach of the Washington Redskins. My thoughts, it's the great hire. It's a great, he was the greatest coach that was available. Obviously, none of the other coaches had the experience like he did. He's taking the team to the Super Bowl. Granted, they didn't win, but none of the other available coaches had been to a Super Bowl. So he is known for his course correction. What the Redskins needed the most was course correction. We got Bruce Allen out the door. I love Jay. He was a great guy. I met him. I had a, uh, had a nice talk with him about how to become an NFL coach because it's something that's an interest of mine down the line. And um, he kind of broke it down for me and just, and just spent all the time that, he, that um, we needed so he could explain to me all the steps it takes. But nonetheless, Ron Rivera is the best uh, possible scenario for a coach that we could have. We are broken in our culture. We are just absolutely destroyed. And we need somebody that comes in there and, you know, doesn't take the BS. You know, if you only play here if you want to be here. If they don't want to be here, they're out the door. Because, um, obviously, a uh, thing under Bruce Allen's regime was if you were a star player, you stayed with the Redskins no matter your production. But Ron Rivera doesn't think like that. He only keeps you if you produce. So... That led to the release of Josh Norman, Jordan Reed, and Paul Richardson. I'll be making some uh, videos about those releases soon. Um, so I won't get into my thoughts about that. So the thoughts, we need it. We need this. We need this culture change. We need, we need Riverboat Ron steering the ship. Uh, and my expectations... Y'all are going to say I'm crazy. And I might be crazy. You know, I might be crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of crazy. Um, we can be a playoff team this year. Let's, let's be honest. The talent is there. We have the talent. If you are a true Redskins fan and you watch all the games, you know that there is talent there. Dwayne progressed so much at the, at the end of the season. It shows so much promise. And I think that can only get better over this offseason as he works with Terry McLaurin, Kelvin Harmon, uh, 
Steven Sims. I'll make a video about Steven Sims because that guy is a freaking beast. So we gotta we gotta devote a whole video about how awesome of a pickup that was. But um Ron Rivera, the expectations for this year mainly is for him to steer us on the right track. As long as the motivation and the culture is steered in the right direction, that's all this first year needs to be. And to show that we're competitive. You know, when this past season when we went three and thirteen, we need to at least go six and ten, seven and nine to show that uh, we're going in the right direction. Anything less than that, um, nothing much, because we could have easily been that this past year. And if that's what we're going for, then we're not really making a change at who the head coach is. Um, we need to be close to 500, if not there or above. But with like with our division, the best thing is the Eagles, and they squeaked in there. Um, I just don't see a team that really is better than us. I'm not saying that we're better than them. I think we're on the same tier with the Cowboys and uh, with the Cowboys. I don't think the Eagles had that much talent. I just think um, Doug Peterson is a very good coach, and he did the best coaching to get those players to the playoffs. The Giants, I just – you got Saquon and Daniel Jones and Evan Ingram. I really don't see anything more than that. It's all just kind of foggy who's there at that point. It's just the talent is just not there. So I think with the Redskins, the defense is so almost 100% ready. We're expected to get Chase Young in a draft. We already got Kerrigan, Sweat, Allen, Ioannidis, Payne, all these guys. And they're super good at their position. So I have no uh, even concern about that. I think the cornerback and safety needs to be addressed. Hopefully, we keep Quentin Dunbar. Um, I'll make a video about that also soon. And uh, we just need to clear up that secondary. You know, bring in Trey Boston, James Bradbury. You know, bring those players in that Ron Rivera is familiar with and we'll show the defense that we can complete that, complete the offense with some more receivers and tight ends. Uh, Maybe some depth on the O-line. I think our starting O-line is fine as is, but it wouldn't hurt to bring in some depth um, to compete. You know, I think the more competition. I think that's what Ron is all about this year is competition. And that's another thing. Um, the expectation is competition. Nobody needs to feel easy for the job, and he's already made that clear with Dwayne Haskins. Is Dwayne Haskins the starter for week one? Yes. Absolutely Yes. But is Ron going to let him ride that coattail all the way into the season? No. He's going to make him work for it. You know, if Alex comes back for training camp, shoot, we might be seeing Alex versus Dwayne Haskins, or we might draft a quarterback in the late rounds just to give him some looks. Free agent quarterback, because the free agent quarterback class is absolutely crazy. I don't think we're going to get any of the top names, but some like the mid-tier to lower-tier names, I could see us picking up one on like a – one-year prove-it deal. Um, I don't see us bringing back Case or Colt. I think both of those is better for us and them just to walk. Um, wish nothing the best for them. I think they're both great guys. I spoke to them both for at least for a little bit over the summer. Um, but I think showing that Dwayne can take it to the next level, helping him get there, uh, proving that we can stay healthy, that's another thing. He needs to show that we can be a healthy team. We haven't had a healthy season in, since 2016, 2015, like those years where we were uh, playoff contenders, you know. Um, we need to be able to get back to that level. You know, the times we had Kerr, Djax, Pierre Garçon, healthy Jordan Reed, uh, steady Alfred Morris. Um, and that time we didn't have a defense. We have a defense now. And we just need to finish up the offense. So I think expectations, competitive year, near, near or at or above 500. Um, nothing below six wins I think is acceptable. Um, I don't think Ron will let that be the case. He is a very strong leader. He comes from a military family background. So he knows what it means to take that foot forward, be a teammate, have your brothers back and work hard for that common goal and I think that 
we need that so badly in our locker room because it is absolutely broken, the culture in there, that Bruce Allen let happen. And it's a shame that it took this long for Dan to realize that that was a problem, but better late than never. So those are my thoughts and expectations for Ron Rivera. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button down if you enjoyed. And make sure to hit that bell button to be notified when I upload a new Redskin Station video. Thank you for watching Redskin Station, the best station for Redskins Nation. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.